Ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick video in introducing Adobe Bridge, as well as talking a little bit about how to sort images shot all at the same aperture, or shutter speed, or ISO, and then how to create a contact sheet. So I did the same assignment that you did, where I went in my backyard, and I took a picture of a gnome sitting on a wall. When I brought these pictures in to Bridge, and all I did to bring them in was I saved that folder and my documents, and then went to Bridge, went over to the side here, chose Documents, went into my Digital Photo 1 folder, and then to whatever folder I had my Aperture Photos in, and found the images here. So, if you select each of these images, your file name below might be really long or different looking than mine. I actually have already renamed these correctly. Yours might say .cr2. They also might say .jpeg. .cr2 is a raw file, so you really don't need to worry about that right now. I just wanted to let you know. But you do need to label these correctly. So to label or rename your file, Select the file, and over here under Metadata on the right side, it'll tell you information about your picture. It'll tell you when it was taken, how it was taken, if the flash went off, what kind of lens you used, etc. So the first one here says it was shot at f4.0 aperture, 1 100th of a second, and ISO is 400. So the second one here, the shutter does not change, and neither does the ISO per the directions but the aperture went to 5.6. If I use my mouse and I scroll over, you will see the next one is at f8. Below that is f22, f16, right here you can see it, and f11. These numbers, 1 100th and ISO 400, in your aperture picture should not have changed at all. If they did, you did it incorrectly and you need a reshoot. To change the names of the files, all you do is click on the actual name of the file. Don't double click because it'll open it up in Photoshop or maybe in a program called Preview. But right here it has the, the number. So maybe you, that was your original file name. And some do look like that. So this one, since it's shot at F8, I'm just going to change it to 8. This one shot at 22. I went in, I clicked on, I changed it to 22. Now, if when you change your numbers, you get to the F5.6 one, and you don't want to put a period between the 5 and the 6 here, because it'll break the file name and confuse the computer. So I just use 56. Now, Bridge will want to put it out of order. It'll want to put it down here. And that's okay. You just grab the file and drag it right back to where it belongs. And once you have all of them renamed, uh, you can hit Command A and select them all. Then go up to Tools and go to Photoshop. Click on Contact Sheet. And then it may ask you, I'm sorry, I did that quickly. It may ask you if you want to cue the command. Just say yes, and then Photoshop will open. If it's not already open on your computer, it might take you know, a couple seconds, 10, 15, 30 seconds. These computers are pretty new, so it should open pretty quickly. Here, it will say, do we want to use Bridge? Yes. How many files? Six. If you don't select the files, it will not use them all, so you must select them first. The document size, 8 by 10 is fine. Inches is fine. Resolution 300 is fine. And then we get to this part where it says thumbnails. How many rows and columns do you want? Well, you're going to have between five and I think six. Yeah, I think between five and six. I'm trying to count on my head here. Images in each of your contact sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, two columns and three rows looks okay to me. Rotate for best fit. Please keep that on. And for file names, as long as it's a clear font that I can read, 
I don't care what this says here. Then press OK. And it's going to proceed in Photoshop to create and generate a contact sheet that you can save. So that's doing it. Um, depends on how bogged down your computer is, how long this will take. Shouldn't take too long here. Okay, I'm just waiting for it, and there it is. So here it has listed your six images, and it has named them correctly. This is your aperture 4, f5.6, 8, 11, 16, and 22. If you do not name your files inside a bridge, this step will come out, and you will not have the correct labels. If you do not have the correct labels and have them in the correct order, that will affect your grade on this assignment. Once you have these in Photoshop, you can go to File, and then click on Export, Save for Web. Right there, you click File, Export, Save for Web. And it's going to open up a, a menu here and say, okay, how do you want to save it? Now, I need you to save it a certain size so when you submit it, I can actually see your work. So you're going to choose JPEG High, and you're going to change your image size right here. It's important. Um, this is vertical. It's 8 by 10, 10 inches high. So your height should be 1,200. So if you change it to 1,200, you'll see that the weight, I'm sorry, the width automatically changed. So change your height, whatever your long edge is, to 1,200. Click on the Save button. The computer will ask you, where do you want to save it? So you could say you want to save it in your pictures, wherever you want to save it. Say here, I want to save it on my desktop. And you're going to not save it. You're going to save it actually in your documents, but I just have my desktop open. Uh, maybe it goes in this folder. Maybe it goes somewhere else. I don't know. So save it correctly and press the Save button, which you can't see here because it's off the screen, but press the Save button and it will save your work for you. Once you've done that with your aperture, do the same thing with your ISO images, and then go to Canvas, go to the assignment for this week, upload both of your contact sheets, please name the files correctly per the directions in Canvas, I think it has to do with your name and if it's ISO or aperture, and once you've uploaded them, then I need you to write your paragraphs about what do you see the difference between 4 going through to 22, which one's lighter, which one's darker, which one do you think is the best exposed of the six? Do you think it's F8 maybe, F11? What are your thoughts? Okay, that was a short video explaining our assignment for creating a contact sheet from a folder of images shot the same aperture or shot at the same ISO. I hope this helps you out. This video also shows you how to correctly export the size for Canvas submissions, which we will do for every single submission all year long. Thank you.